two, um, this is a question from me, I guess. Two, two aspects of critical importance to, say, GPT or large language models that are not talked about a lot by the companies who do them are data curation, mm -hmm. so getting that clean data, that balanced data, that representative data, which, by the way, counter to popular belief, open AI spent a lot of its money on, on curating just that right corpus so that they can do the training reliably. And the, the second part, um, which is something we're big believers in at the Institute for Experiential AI, Experiential AI stands for AI with the human in the loop, having that human intervention through relevance feedback mm -hmm. that we know now open AI is doing and has been doing and some of the queries are actually taken over by humans at some point when they make enough errors to come back. But the good thing is they learn from them and we think that's a great practice. Why do you think the companies don't want to talk about the importance of the data and the importance of the human in the loop? I don't know if they don't want to talk about it. I mean, it's clearly uh, very expensive to collect, curate yes. data to produce a good, uh, a good LLM. Uh, but in my opinion, it's, it's doomed to failure in the, in the long run for two reasons. The, the first one is uh, uh, the curation you know, requires going through this you know, enormous amount of, uh, of uh, data that you want to train the system on. And, and any data you eliminate, you know, it's less training data for your model. Um, but the second thing is, um, uh, even with uh, human feedback, rather, uh, human feedback that rate you know, different answers or, or, or fine tune the system for certain question and answers, uh, sort of manually uh, curated. If you want those systems ultimately to be the repository of uh, all human knowledge, the dimension of that space of all human knowledge is enormous. And you're not gonna do it by you know, paying a few thousand people in Kenya or in India uh, rating answers. You're gonna have to do it with millions of volunteers that uh, you know, fine tune the, the system for all possible questions that might possibly be asked. And those volunteers will have to be vetted um, uh, in the way Wikipedia is, is being done, right? So think of LLMs in the long run as uh, a version of Wikipedia plus your favorite newspapers plus the scientific literature plus everything, uh, but you can talk to it. You don't have to read articles, you can just talk to it. And so if it's if it supposed to become the repository of all human knowledge, the, the, the thing it's been uh, trained to do will have to be curated by, by crowdsourcing the way Wikipedia is uh, to cover all the possible uh, things that uh, may, be, may be covered. This is a very strong argument for having open source uh, based models uh, for, for, for LLMs. So in my opinion, the future is inevitably going to be that you're going to, be, you're going to have a small number of uh, open source based LLMs that are not trained for any particular application. They just are, you know, they, they, they train on like enormous amounts of data that requires a lot of money. So you're not going to have 25 of them. You're going to have two or three. And then uh, actual applications are going to be built on top of it by fine tuning those systems for particular vertical uh, applications. That's the future. Sadly, in the industry, there are people who are lobbying uh, governments to actually make the open sourcing of large, uh, large scale LLM illegal. What they're worried about is uh, you know, potential misuse of LLMs by bad actors, uh, potential uh, uses. Uh, uh, so some people in, in the US, for example, are worried, oh, if we open source our LLMs, you know, uh, China and North Korea and Iran will put their hands on it, and that's gonna be bad. Um, and then some people are worried that you know, the real powerful LLMs are gonna be super intelligent and destroy humanity, uh, which I think is preposterous, uh, even though some of my friends that I respect actually believe this. Um, so I think it would be really, really bad if uh, those lobbying attempts uh, succeed. I'm very much in favor of a future with uh, open-based uh, models. And there's gonna be bad actors, but there's gonna be countermeasures against them. It's gonna be, you know, or powerful, good AI cop against their nefarious AI, essentially. <laughs>